99 attack, 99 strength, 1 defense, 95 combat. Not an account you see every single day, that is for sure. I've never PK'd on one of these before. This is going to be very interesting. Oh, and also it has an untrimmed Slayer cape, which is pretty cool. The account on paper sounds amazing. Couldn't be any better. Low defense, high attack and strength. But we're going to be against mostly Zerkers and Voiders here, who have Vengeance and who are going to tear through my defense. But, because I'm a pure, I can actually attack pures in PvP world, so hopefully we should get a few fights with them because we'll have a huge advantage against them. Right, here we go. DDS Gmall. And DDS to finish him off. Let's go. I think this guy wants to fight me. It looks like he does. See what I mean? We're fighting a pure. We have such a massive advantage. He is level 60 slash 75 attack. We're 99 attack. The odds. And I'm bringing Phoenix necklaces because I don't have vengeance to concentrate on. Don't usually bring them. Right, gonna go in for mine. Oh, look at that combo. See what I mean? 99 attack. It's gonna be so accurate. This is who we don't want to be against. Right, safe into completely full HP. That risk. That's what you get for saving to full, I guess. I thought I'd have no chance against Zerkas, but I guess we just gotta rely on specking them out. And seeing as I'm 99 attack, I can use every melee weapon in the game. Claws, AGS, Elder Mole. So, we're gonna try each of them out. Okay, I'm getting attacked by a Ballista, which is never a good thing. I think it was this guy. Isn't this the guy I got before? I'm just bringing the Gmall this time. That worked. By the way, I have a Bandos book instead of an Unholy book because it gives some strength bonus and it gives me one extra max hit on the DDS. But when I'm using Gmol, yeah, I should probably use Unholy book. Next combo on the list is a DDS to Gmol, but I'm gonna be using the Torture Amulet because I'm not gonna combo someone out with the whip without vengeance. Everyone knows how to eat. It's all about those specs. Oh, mate, that was so sick. That was so, that, that guy was so surprised. He he thought he would never go down to a pure. Big risk, though. I mean, obviously, I could have got specked out very easily, but that's the risk you got to take. Problem is, with just using melee, I literally have no KO potential after I've used my spec. But now that I'm bringing out the MSB, which I can, because with a whip, it had to be inaccurate. So, if I was using the magic short bow with a whip, I mean, I'd have to keep on changing them, and if I get the whip wrong on that one, I'd get defense XP. So, a good idea is to use an MSB without the whip, and yeah, we have no problems, and we actually have KO potential because we can actually stack them out. Oh, I forgot range pot. Oh, mate. Yeah, this is a lot better. It is so satisfying. Basically, I think I should use DDS against Pierce and then Gmalls against anyone else because it's just going to tear through them every single time with 99 attack. In fact, you know what might be better? Berserkering imbued with a strength army. So with the B-ring guy, we go from a 33 DDS to a 35 max hit. But we lose out on the recoil damage, that's the only thing. And again, there we go. Got a fight with the pure, can't wait to DDS his face off, it's gonna be great. Interesting, okay, I'm gonna try that combo. <gasps> okay, I actually didn't think about doing that. That's kind of funny, I was kind of disrespectful to him. Okay, that's the first time we went down, which is pretty good going. I thought I was gonna go down most of the time. Nothing you can do about that combo. That risk. Whoa, nice. Perfectly timed. Oh, almost. Oh my days. Holy, I actually love this account. GDSG mole. Good fight. This time we're bringing out the claws. And boom. Good fight. This guy is specced and tabbed and we're having none of it. So we're going to go sort him out, I guess. 
So we've got a fight versus a guy called Eat Nerd. Yeah, you're at such a big disadvantage if it's not a pure, because you just get wrecked. All fight, they have all the KO opportunities, you have none because you can't hit them back because you're just constantly eating all fight. So you just gotta just gotta wait until that one opportunity you get the big XP drop going for the spec. Eat nerd. Right, let's fight avoider. This is probably a terrible idea. It's gotta be it. Beautiful stuff. Good luck. I'm gonna try G Malta Claws. See how that goes. Probably terrible. Uh, close to Gmall's better. Yo, I just pick a bank. Of you mall. Let's do the distraction technique. Asking someone to GL and then one hit them. That's a video I'm gonna do soon. I've not done that in a while. Yeah, kind of misclicked. But yeah, next combo on the list. Zamrock God Sword. Two Gmalls into the God Sword. Unstoppable combo. I was scuffed, but it worked anyway. And you're gone. Nothing you can do about that combo, literally. Mate, if I can get this guy somehow, I don't know how, we're gonna make bank. Look at him. He's got debuts, everything. Hit something. I actually got him. He never expected to go down to me. 650k? That's what we're talking about. If I'm doing Gmol to God Sword, I may as well Gmol to Eldermol, because Eldermol has a couple extra max hits. Let's go for this Zerka. And boom. It's strong. I don't even know, is that, is that a white pure? <laughs> 10 defense? I don't know. Oh, we need one big XP drop. There we go. And Eldermol to finish him off. Wait, did I just smite him? Oh, I don't think he had a... Oh, I actually smited him for a Leaf Bladed Battle Axe. The one person who didn't bring a plus one. Okay, this time we got the AGS spec. It's going to be so clean. AGS maybe to Gmall, we'll see. Okay, last opportunity. Come on, big XP drop. He's saved to full HP, not a problem. AGS Gmall. Didn't need the Gmall. Level 97 combat. Max 75 attack Zerker. We've got the exact same stats apart from... I have 99 attack, he has 75 attack, but he has Vengeance, Defense, Torso, Barrows, Gloves. Could have actually got him there, to be fair. But yeah, this is just not the right account for PvP. It's fun for a change, though. Risk it. That risk. 60 attack Zerka. Using melee, so that's alright. Okay, saving to full HP. And that's what we did. Wait. I just I just smited him for nothing. I smited two people today. Despite AGS, Claws, Elder Mall being the most overpowered. Gotta say, DDS G Mall is way more fun. It's just super satisfying. Oh sick. Right, screw it. Let's go for this Slayer Mask Pure. You don't have to skill, don't worry, mate. G Mall DDS, that's what we're going for. Don't know why I'm smiting him. Smiting him for his black DD chat. Ninety nine attack and strength on a pure isn't the only unique thing about this account. You may have noticed it has some pretty good levels. Good enough levels for the two thousand total worlds. And you sometimes get some low levels, hunting chins, at Callisto safe spot, and they can't get attacked by the max people. I don't know, it's very rare that you actually find those people. If not, I'm just gonna attack the max people and see if we can get them. No low levels on the two K total world, but I've found someone on the fifteen hundred total world. Did he have any loot? How many chins? 98, that's actually pretty good. 98 chins, that's 300k. Callisto safe spot. And he's a max guy, so it's gonna be pretty difficult. Cause you can actually escape in like 28 will do something. Even this guy's surprised at level 95, what? Did he have loot? That's the question. Oh, actually, he did actually have loot. Super combust and crushed nests. Yeah, 400k. I went out on quite a few trips to try find the low levels and wasn't able to. Be a super, super unique account, but I don't, I don't recommend it. Don't recommend it, but it was cool to try out though.